What do you mean three, two, one, O? Oh? <laughs> I said go. Oh, go. <laughs> nah, this it's three, two, one, O oh now. <laughs> you watch sure, Why not? Oh. <laughs> Wait. Three, two, one, O. Oh. oh. I mean, technically, well, I, I mean, technically, O is another word for zero, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, anyway. yeah. Anyways, last time in Silent Hill 2 Land, not the remake, because, uh, I play the originals of games before I play remakes. Um, oh, for sure. We, uh, we, we came to, uh, Dark South Vale. At least that's what the, uh, guide calls this place. I don't think there's actually a name for it. But anyways, we're supposed to go to Cat's Street and go to the Rosewater Park. Since we both have the wrench and the, uh... The wrench and the letter, I think. I looked back at your footage, you actually did pick up the wrench. So I don't know why you say you didn't have it. <laughs> I just don't remember. I think you called it a key, that's why you got confused. <laughs> Yeah, I actually got confused. So I, I guess it's fair enough. So we, we're both around the same point. We are. You just might as well be ahead of me. I mean, you were ahead of me for like an entire episode. <laughs> so. I, I was. Think I think it's fair. <laughs> and then now we're in like, oh. we're in like even pace again. Oh, for sure. Also, there's a mod I really want to try out someday for for trash. I want to see if I can get the Cody mod to work. <laughs> I don't think it'll work. I don't know. I haven't bothered trying because the thing is, is I, I if I want to try out like a new mod, I'll try it out on like console because it boots way faster on console. Because trash, tra really. trash takes like six times as long to boot on, you know, emulator for some fucking reason. But on real hardware, it only it only takes like four to five minutes to boot, which is way faster. How does that even work? Like, mine's only take like three minutes. Uh, it probably only takes three minutes because you don't have that many mods yet. I don't. So it boots a lot faster when you don't have many mods. Okay, so where am I now? Now we're on Cat Street, and we need to go to the Rosewater Park. Okay, we're getting, we're actually getting somewhere. Although I should probably um, I should probably look around at the end of the street to see if there's any like items. But anyways, uh, yeah, I've been playing uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership. It's a pretty damn good game. Um. I'm still not sure if it rivals, you know, like, Dream Team or Superstar Saga. Even but, Bowser's Inside Story? Yeah, or, or Bowser's Incest Story. I haven't, you know, finished the game yet. I'm only eight hours in. But the crazy... I haven't even, I haven't even finished Inside Story yet. <laughs> At this rate, I don't know if you will, because you, you, you played, like, a little bit of it, and then you stopped joining us for that, and then you just kind of disappeared. <laughs> I have disappeared. I just wanted to do other things. Yeah, like freaking Shadow and SA2, where he's like, DISAPPEAR! Sure sounds like it. Well, speaking of Shadow, Sonic and Shadow Generations came out. And everybody, yeah. everybody seems to be saying it's good. Well it's, well, it's only good because there is additions to the game. And a lot of changes. To the dialogue. Uh, did you see the changes to the dialogue yet? <laughs> yes. Well, what do you think of it? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, there I, are... I don't know! I mean, the dialogue might as well be better than the original. Hmm. I would assume. I mean, but... it, it's, it's both better and worse. I'd say. Oh yeah, how so? Well, I, the thing I like about the new dialogue is that Sonic actually makes like more references, you know? 
which I think is a good change. You know, I think one of my favorite lines, one of my favorite new lines in the um, the remaster, is where Tails is like, uh, "We're traveling through time, Sonic," and then Sonic's like, "Without the time stones," and I'm like, "That's a fucking cool reference." <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's actually a good one. And you also, know? and also Sonic, he uh, he like yeah. actually like talks to his friends like after he saves them instead of just doing like a goofy thumbs up or whatever you want to know what's cool what mephilus actually returns oh yeah i forgot about that that's really cool it really is and it's not just him who returns i saw metal overlord as well black doom is also there as well yeah they're bringing back all the cool villains Exactly. So, that's more than enough of a reason to play that game. Heck, you might as well even buy the the re-release with additions. Hmm, I might borrow it. <laughs> oh, an ampoule. And it, is it ampoule? Actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna consult Brave for this one. <laughs> So let me reload my browser. Shadow is literally reverting back to his SA2 uh, self. That's good. What is an ampoule? I don't know. <laughs> um, an ampoule is a small sealed vial which is used to contain and preserve a sample, usually a solid or liquid. Ampoules are usually made of glass. Okay, how do you, pr how do you pronounce it? It, like I, I like the, the the you know, it's ampule. 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 Okay. Okay. How do how do the how do the British say it then? Ampule. Ampule. All right, we're going with the British pronunciation because British tops every time. <laughs> Fuck the American pronunciation. That shit's stupid. Hey Jacob. What? Have you ever realized that some games look better in a CRT TV? Mm, I don't know. It's been like 15 years since I used a CRT. Well, people are actually using CRT TVs right now to look at the difference, and some say it looks it looks better because it looks much more clear and less dark. Ah, huh. I never thought about that. Exactly. Literally, there are some advantages to the CRT TV over the flat screens. Flat screen monitors. I always think that. Well, I mean, don't CRTs have like scan lines or whatever? Yes. I love it when games just have a scan line filter, but all it does is just makes the game look darker. <laughs> what did I just find? The small metal box is fastened by bolts. I can't open the lid. Okay, well, this is why, um. This is why we got the, uh, the wrench. If there's sunlight outside, literally you can't clearly see it since, since it feels like your monitor is turned off. Hmm. I wonder if That's... using a CRT would also help my eyesight. <laughs> they might as well. The old bronze key. Where does that bronze key go then? I'm only stating of what I know about TVs. I mean, my TV's kind of shit anyway. It's only 59 refresh rate. Why um, is it crappy anyways? It, it's an old TV. It's like 10 years old. <laughs> I'm still using this fucking TV as my computer monitor. <laughs> mine's, has been a, mine's has been around for like one or two years. <laughs> It's probably like I don't know. I want. I had to take a guess. It's probably like a hundred forty-four refresh rate or something. I guess you can say that. I don't know. Let's see. Um, we go to the museum. Head west on Nathan Avenue. Oh, we're going to a museum next. Oh, wait. I actually tried going to the Silent Hill Society before, but I couldn't get in because I didn't have a key. So I guess that's what the bronze key in the park is for. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, I, we know where to go now, I guess. Well, I mean, you don't know how to go while well, I am stuck. Um, you need to go to the park with a wrench. Oh, okay. It should be pretty easy to get there. You just have to find... You just need to look at your map and find that, like, solid red line that you can go through. Like, basically, that's a door that'll take you to the park. And you can get there, and you gotta find this statue that you move with... with You just, like, dig it up. And then you can use your wrench on this little metal box, and that gives you a key to the museum. And I guess that's where the next dungeon is. But I mean, hey, we're halfway done this game already, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we we are. It doesn't really feel like there's as many dungeons in this game, or maybe that's just me. I don't know. It just feels less to you. If it well, I, there's definitely less boss fights. I can say that. Oh god, more nurses. You wish there were more variety. I wouldn't mind more bosses, honestly. If you say so. This place is definitely going to look a lot, um, foggier, brighter in the remake. I don't know. I haven't been watching videos of the Silent Hill remake much. I've been kind of, I was binging this uh, seven hour long video on, um, 2D Mario levels. You don't really love 2D Mario levels, don't you? I mean, I like Mario in general, though. Where's the map pad in this place? Well I've, well, I've been thinking about kind of replaying New Super Mario Bros. DS. You should. It's, it's, it's a good game, no matter how many times you play it. In my opinion, I think it's generally better than Wii. Mm, I mean, it's more creative than Wii, I can say that. Yeah, but honestly, to me, Wii is pretty much overrated. The thing I find ironic about DS, though, is it's actually not all that creative because it recycles a shit ton of assets from Super Mario 64 DS. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I actually did found out oh, about it. I actually found out that that new Super Mario Bros. DS uses the sound font from, from the N64. Like, for example... Like for example, uh, world the freaking volcano theme. It's it's basically like kind of a remix uh, of the one lava level. Oh, lethal lava land. Yeah, pretty much. It's basically basically the volcano theme is basically leaf of lava land. Yeah, it uses the same uh the same sound font. Exactly. Which I, is cool. I mean, lots of games reuse the same sound font. That's what I love about it. it like, honestly, it literally sounds good. And plus, uh, nothing's beating the... If there's, if there's one compliment I can give to New Super Mario Bros. DS, it's that the fucking castle theme is, like, the best in the series. It is. There's a photo of a deep, deep... Would you say it's better than the... Would you say that the castle theme is better than the Wii version? Oh yeah, for sure. That's one thing I can agree on. <laughs> um, I'm not missing I mean, honestly, the map, am I? Honestly, the DS version sounds more tense. That's why I uh, put it into my uh, my ROM hack. <laughs> I plan to add that in Smash. Ooh. Let's see. Where do you get the map in the museum? Let's see. I guess you don't get the map yet. I, I just would hate to miss the map because that would really suck. <laughs> All right, well. Let's uh let's go down into the basement. What could po what could possibly go wrong with the basement? It's me, Bubsy. It's the basement. Of course things would go wrong. Yeah, they got they got Golden Freddy down there. 
which is pretty bad because that boss fight sucks. Obviously. <laughs> I love how we still fucking joke about that stupid Golden Freddy fight. Yeah, it's been years. I would, I would, or has it been one year? Um, it's been a year and a half. I see. God damn, Mimo Light was already a year and a half ago? That's actually insane. It's literally insane when you think about it. Since. <laughs> Some kind Since... of document. Don't you find it weird that time goes by fast? Yeah. 9 11? Holy shit. 9 11 mentioned in Silent Hill 2? When did this game release? 2001. The year that 9 11 happened. <laughs> I'm not sure when it released. Hmm, good question. When did Silent Hill 2 come out? September 25th, 2001. So, two weeks after 9-11. So, the aftermath. I guess so. Kind of a... Kind of unfortunate timing on their part, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, it really is an unfortunate timing. Wait, well, what? Hang on. When did Metal Gear Solid 2 come out? I know that game's also um 2001. November. Wait, so Silent Hill 2 and Metal Gear Solid 2 are literally fucking two months apart? That's actually crazy. That's that's, that's honestly more crazy. <laughs> 2001 is really a terrible start for the 21st century. Yeah, I mean, besides us getting a bunch of banger games, like Mar yeah. like Luigi's Mansion. I I have yet to play Luigi's Mansion. Wait, the gingerbread men are back. They're like they're gonna be more tanky though. I bet. Oh. Who doesn't want? Who doesn't love the tank? Oh man, I I definitely don't miss these uh, these combat controls though. And I was so. I don't miss the combat in this game. That's probably the weakest thing about Silent Hill is the combat. That's the point. But it's it's not that it's not engaging, bro. You just slap the shit out of an like you just slap the shit out of people with a plank for five minutes and then they die. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. I keep I keep trying to open the menu with triangle, but that just opens up the map. <laughs> I don't know which game I'm thinking of where you open the game I, actually you know what? I'm thinking of Persona. You open the you open the menu with triangle in those games. And I keep thinking, oh yeah, I can open up the menu with triangle, but that just opens up the map instead. <laughs> so whoops. You're aware that this is a survival horror game. It's literally meant to be like this. I mean, I don't know. Silent Hill 2 Remake has good combat, and that still comes off as a horror game. Even good combat is not enough for me. Well, it's not that the combat... Like, here's the thing. It's not challenging, though. The combat's not challenging. You literally just stand in front of an enemy, and you smack them repeatedly with a like wooden board and then they die you barely even get hit <laughs> death by skewing crimson and white banquet for the gods okay you want to you want to know of another example of what used to be a horror game what literally literally the wonderful horror game that one of the horror games that excite you is doom Oh yeah, I love Doom. I, I was tempted to play uh, Doom 64 this year, but um, I ended up playing Luigi's Mansion 2 and Castlevania instead. Well, I mean, you should have done this. Well, I'm, I'm also playing Silent Hill 2, so that's also fun. Oh, okay. And I guess next year we get to play Silent Hill 3. Which, I mean, uh, hopefully, heard that hopefully, you enjoy, hopefully you enjoy Silent Hill 3. Mm, I mean, I've heard Silent Hill 4 is the shittier one. We gotta watch out for that one. 
people really do. People actually really love uh, Silent Hill Three. I think I think I can see why. <laughs> the hole's dark and I can't see anything. Will you jump down? Yes. Some people, so literally, some people say it's their favorites, and and mm. and heck, might as well be better than two. I mean, I might if I if I have to be honest, I think I might prefer Silent Hill One so far. <laughs> But That's I funny. don't. I don't know. I haven't finished Silent Hill two yet. I I do think this is a good one. I do think this is good though. But I think the the PS one really like added to the horror aspect of the first Silent Hill. This game being on PS two, oddly enough, kind of removed some of the scare factor. Mm -hmm. Scare factor is not needed all the time. It's just a wall. It's just a wall. Well, I'm, like, I'm honestly, stuck in a well. Literally, the reason why I enjoy Silent Hill 2 is because I really like the fact that it goes on a different direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what most sequels intend to do. Most sequels usually go for a different route. Is there like a hidden wall here or something? Is there something I need to uh, put in the wall? Hmm. I don't know. What do you do here? There's a whole lot of nothing in this well. It would be impossible. Is there something I'm supposed to do in this frickin' well that I'm not thinking of? I'm just kind of pressing buttons and hoping something happens. Oh yeah, and Jacob, just to remind you... What? 3 is the sequel to Silent Hill 1. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> What makes you say that? And then what the hell is up with Silent Hill 2? It's just kind of its own thing? Hmm, this is Yeah, different. it's its own thing. You could think of it as a side story. Just this spot feels different than a normal wall. Oh yeah, like I said, you could think of this as a side story. Oh shit. I did it. What you do? Uh, I found a random part of the wall that I could break. Oh, I just dug something on the grave. Oh yeah, you're you're going the right way. Okay, well suddenly we went from a museum to a sewer. You went to a sewer line? We're in a sewer now. Man, that's another thing this game has in common with Silent Hill 1. Going inside of a sewer. Well, there, there's already two places that we've been in that this game and ha first game have in common. We went to a hospital, and we also went to a sewer. <laughs> Die, gingerbread man. You're two months too early. Die. Die. You dumbass. You gotta wait you gotta wait two more months for it to be your time. <laughs> to shine. Yep. Or your time is now. <laughs> John Cena. Silent Pyramid Head 2. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me move the chat over here so people can actually see it. I kinda I kinda fucked up there. I fucked up the last episode, the chat was off screen, so bar barely people could see what Zeppi was saying. <laughs> but your internet works, hooray. Oh, there's a key on the ground. Spiral writing key. Wait, what was that? I pressed the switch, but nothing happened. Oh, this is, um... This is where the, uh, what you call it? This is where I need the battery, right? 
I changed mm. the light's batteries. It's locked. Oh yeah, Jacob. What? After I finish uh, Xenosaga 3, I'm just not sure what I'll do next. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. But after, besides me yeah. thinking about next year of spring. There's a lot of spooters in here, or weird bugs. I don't know what's going on here. Because this might have something to do with me having a PS5 of what I'm gonna buy on spring. God damn, I'm taking a lot of damage from these stupid spiders, bro. Yeah, I'm actually planning to get the Lunar series. Well, there's a good, I there's a good idea for you. Yeah. But I have yet to play the series since I hear it's really underrated. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. But yet, fans ask for the game to be released. To be re released. And I have been listening to the opening many times. It's really that good. Yeah, not a not a series I thought you'd be interested in, but that's cool. It is. These games originally came from the Sega CD. Yeah, I know about that. But then moved to PlayStation. What the fuck am I supposed to do in here? Which uh, most people will fondly remember as. Hmm. You know, it's, PlayStation we're it's PlayStation we're talking about. I mean, there's a uh, there's a keep. There's a numpad here. Hmm. What's the combination, though? I curse the people who made the PS Five Pro. Hmm. Why? Because there's barely upgrades to the system. Bro, I can barely frickin' move. <laughs> well, you, at least you have a good reason to use the word barely. <laughs> yeah, barely. I don't know what the fuck it wants me to do in this room. I sometimes even question why bother updating the console where I'm well, a huge console that doesn't even have anything anything that's changing. Well, uh rip, I died. The stupid you bugs know, the stupid bugs got me, bro. Is that really the second time you died? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it wants me to do in that room. Looking this shit up. Um, let's see. I see a portrait of Pyramid Head. Uh, it says, examine the numbers that are brighter than the others. Okay. I mean, I didn't lose that much progress since I literally just saved. I just have to kill a few gingerbread men again, and I'll be fine. I am Jacob, get this. I actually updated my duck station, and literally I didn't lost any of my saves. Dates. Weird. So some I guess maybe maybe duck station works differently? I don't know. It does work differently in terms of saves because the, you don't you don't even get errors from it. I mean, I don't really see a reason to update. Like unless there's like a like an a necessary feature that I would want. I usually just stay on the same version that I am, unless there's like, I yeah. always update my I do. The reason why I wanted to update my PCSX2 is that there, because there's a feature I was missing. Did they add anything good? Well, they did add something. Well, what is this something? <laughs> just give me a sec. I'll. Okay, I'll just pause for a bit. You'll scan the target. <laughs> I will. They did add something brand new, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, not sure not sure where it is, but I'm trying to find it. 
Uh, I th think it's a. Uh, mm. I mean, because personally, I can't think of anything good that they added. Well, I want. I, I think I'd rather have died anyways because um, I wasted too many of my healing items, and I'd rather save those. So I think it's. I think it's better this way. Okay, thanks for breathing your frickin' cinnamon breath in my face. It'll take a fucking, uh... It'll, it'll take some fucking coal gear or something, you bugger. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, they did add... They did add it, uh... Made of scaling. That wasn't a feature before? <laughs> No, I don't think so. Seems like something that every emulator should have, though. What, native scaling? Yeah. I actually... I actually did use, use it for... for to fix, uh, cutscenes. Oh, yeah, I guess the cutscenes were broken, right? Yeah, I think so. And to misaligned bloom so i mean if uh you know if they're broken then i guess that is a good reason to update but like exactly. all the games that i've played they run fine so i don't really see much of an issue okay i see where your point lies in <laughs> okay Wario, isn't it? <laughs> I just think, yeah, I just think of fucking Wario where it's like, okay. <laughs> when he fucking eats a garlic in Wario World. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, it's just a wall. It's just a wall. Alright, well, I guess the, the easiest way to do this is just to nudge myself ever so slightly to the left each time and just mash A. You have a... Okay, I did find it in uh, Upscaling Fixes. Yeah. This is actually... Yeah, na Native Scaling is in uh, Native Scale... In uh, Scaling Fixes. I guess that's how you'd be able to fix um, the cutscenes messing up. Yeah, pretty much. And it looks like Silent Hill doesn't even have that feature. Weird. At least I don't think. I'm literally checking through my. I'm literally checking through Xeno Saga. Oh, you're not breathing in my face. I guess the original intention for these guys was to puke at you, but it just doesn't look like puke in this game. It just looks like cinnamon breath. <laughs> It's like it's like the new cinnamon challenge. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what you just said. What the fucking new cinnamon challenge? <laughs> it's never a good idea to do a cinnamon challenge. Yeah. I never See, I mean I'm I've been see I'm I've been on YouTube long enough. I know about all those fucking challenges, like the cinnamon the cinnamon challenge, the ice bucket challenge. I know I remember all that crap. I remember when that shit was popular. But you should also realize that cinnamon is one of the deadliest foods to consume. Hmm, really now. Yeah, if you literally took a bite of that spice, like you would have trouble breathing. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, you'd probably end up like Leon over there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, you'd end up like that. Why not? Just why not? What the hell do we have in here? There's a door at the bottom. The door is locked. We got a lot of doors. Yeah. I mean, there's only one door that Wario wants to go in, though. <laughs> and where is that? The bathroom. <laughs> The bathroom door. Alright, let me let me actually let me use my battery. 
Well, you just had to. Oh. Like, literally, what are the hardest things of being Mario? Four eight one. God damn it. Oh, hey shit. Jacob, in your opinion. What? What do you think is the worst parts of being Mario? Um having a new voice actor. <laughs> Good one. And you have shit. to fight Bowser all the time. True, you do. Yeah, that would just be a living nightmare, if you do that. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to put up with Bower and his Bowser juice. <laughs> that would be pretty bad. <laughs> hmm. Looks a little darker in here than usual. Well, duh. I guess, I, guess, I, guess, I guess that new battery is really putting, you know, works in... <laughs> Well, I did, thankfully I didn't spoil myself on when you have to use the battery, but, uh, you do use it pretty soon. And often. This was definitely sponsored by, uh, Dur Duradel, I think. <laughs> Duradel? Oh, Duracell, you mean? <laughs> yeah, Duracell. <laughs> Duradel. I mean, I mean, it's like the fucking one wing at office. Clearly, this was made by Dell. <laughs> yeah, clearly, this was made by Dell. <laughs> and we're out of ink. Out of ink. <laughs> Paper's pink. <laughs> I can't use that here. Do I go in this door again? Eat more butter. <laughs> Eat more butter. I mean, butter is good. Yeah. I especially use it for for grilled cheese. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really eat grilled cheese much these days. And I even know how to make it since it's easy. Yeah, it's easy. Easy. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> you know what? We need a fucking Baku mod now for 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 trash. And then when he he throws you, he just goes yeet. Yeah, he just goes yeet, and then you just disappear. <laughs> now that would be fucking hilarious. Just don't ask how I know this kind of stuff. <laughs> hey, I mean the Baku videos are food me. I know. Oh hey, it's <laughs> that's Eddie. <laughs> That's why I said don't ask how I know this. A person ain't no big deal. Just put the gun to their head. Holy shit! Persona 3. What about Persona 3? You killed he point him. he pointed a gun at his head. My fault. He made me do it. You got a cutscene right Calm now? Down, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Wow, you really are ahead of me. Yeah. Had it coming. I didn't do it. Had it coming. Like like fucking uh the um rock mod <laughs> for Incineroar. Like that other one. Just for that yeah, the rock him. mod for Incineroar. Mm -hmm. What do you mean just for that? Eddie, you can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. Oh yeah? Why not? Till now I always let people walk all over me. Just like that stupid dog. He had stupid dog. Eddie. What are you used to? <laughs> Sounds like you know something about Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> yeah. I haven't even watched that show in years. I never watched it, but people have been referencing it more and more. Of course. It's literally part of everybody's childhood, including mine. Well, not mine. I never got to watch it, sadly. I, I only watched like a few shows, like uh, Fairly Odd Parents, SpongeBob. Um, Sponge. Spong, the corpse, the body's marked with bullet holes. 
This looks like a cafeteria. I think it is. Seriously, that show should really end. What, Spongebob? Yeah. Eh. I mean, most, show, mo most shows should end after, like, you know... I think, I think a good amount of seasons for a show is, like, nine. Nine seasons. You end it after the ninth season, and then you should be good. Tablet of a gluttonous pig. Or is, is or we're, co we're collecting tablets now? Metal tablet even, with gluttonous pig drawn on one side, found in the dining room. Even the Simpsons were gonna gonna try to end the entire show, as they should. Yeah, what are they on now? Like, season 30? <laughs> Probably. The funny thing is that there are shows that lasted longer since, like... Since, like, what, the 1920s? Dang. That's why, yeah. I, that's why I think Seinfeld's such a good show. It ended when it needed to. <laughs> yeah, there are... There are shows that are that literally have over like over ten thousand to uh, twenty thousand episodes. Fucking One Piece. <laughs> yeah, One Piece is not one of them. It's not. It didn't even reach like like freaking ten thousand or twenty thousand episodes. What fucking show is twenty thousand episodes? <laughs> and it's probably one of those. It's probably one of the freaking German. It's it's one of those shows that came from Germany. Oh. Mhm. Mm it just released somewhere in the 1960s, and it kept, and it kept uh, running episodes for, like every day. It's every day, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 I clean. Honestly, guys, you know what I think would be funny? <laughs> I found this kind of stuff on Wikipedia of what show has the most episodes. Oh, imagine I make this an emote. <laughs> That'd be fucking funny. The fucking James save, uh, like, face. Just him staring at you. <laughs> Why stare? I don't know. It's funny. Just his fuck his his fucking blank stare is so funny. Well, okay. He does that. Fa he does that same face in the remake, by the way, which is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how that's happened, but okay. The only difference is that you know now it's not a static JPEG. It's actually like you can actually like see him, you know, standing there. So, yeah. Wait, somebody actually made a meme out of this save screen? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> hold on, hold on a second. I got a fucking amazing meme to show you guys. <laughs> Hold on. POV, are you saving in Silent Hill? <laughs> oh my god. Well, here I am fucking taking the piss out of the save screen in Silent Hill too. Hmm. Apparently, um, apparently in the remakes, not remakes, uh, like the re-releases of this game on like PS3 and stuff, it'll still say like, here, you need, you need like 57 kilobytes for a new game or a new game save. But since the PS3 has like a fucking terabyte of storage, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Why doesn't that matter? <laughs> Bro, you don't you don't need that much storage on a PS3. <laughs> uh, is there anything else I should be looking for in this cafeteria? I don't know storage of the PS3 is huge. I don't see a map anywhere. Wait, is that a key there? No, that's not a key. Hey, I mean, you never know. Even the little, the most minute thing can be a fucking key item in this game.
you could miss like one frickin' corner, and it'll turn out that like, oops, there was a key there that you needed. Oops. Oops. Oh god, there's gonna be a fucking nurse in here or something, isn't there? Um. Well, I mean, no, there's gingerbread men in here. Oh man, I'm so glad we're back to fighting gingerbread men now, and not frickin' nurses. But these guys are way easier to fight. Okay, well, except when they're breathing fucking cinnamon in my face. I got a wax doll. Right here, find me in this corridor. Uh, I guess I'll use a health drink. Yeah, fight me. Come at me, bro. Get in here. Get over here. <laughs> no, don't just stand there like a dumbass. Get in here. No, don't breathe on me. Boom, bitch. Get out of the way. Buz Bozinga. Alright, where are the other where are the other gingerbread men at? <laughs> hey Jacob, I have a stupid question to ask. What? <laughs> How would you feel if you if you got stung by a hornet? Um it'll probably be like that SML episode <laughs> where Jeffy gets stung by a bee. <laughs> And then he can't Literally. fucking talk properly. Okay, I actually do remember what episode you're talking about. Yeah. And Brooklyn guy co comments that he looks like yeah. a retarded donkey. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jeffy just made the donkey noise. <laughs> I forgot about that. You wanna know what's the funniest part about that episode? What? <laughs> Jeffy got addicted to heroin. <laughs> Wait, yes, I remember that. And then he fucking started screaming randomly. <laughs> that, one just, that one just scared me, to be fair. Why, fucking Jeffy screaming from being addicted to heroin? Yeah, but at the same time, I did laugh. And then he was like, it's gonna stop, Daddy. <laughs> And Brooklyn guy just commented, commented it's just orange juice. <laughs> it's just orange juice, but with heroin. <laughs> uh, like the one good thing about that episode. It's one of the funniest things about that episode. Well, and also, and, al and also Jeffy going outside to take a shit. <laughs> even though every, even though everything about the episode was really pointless. Yeah. Like they. Like they need, they didn't even need to go into an adventure. All they, all they had to do was just wait until he turned into a banana. <laughs> all right, I need to reload my gun. You know what? We'll use the gun a little bit. Literally, the whole point is that nothing, uh, that literally nothing in epi and freaking SML makes any sense. Much like Family Guy or South Park. Fam top ten Family Guy moments. I remember that the, I remember that these freaking quote-unquote Family Guy moments are everywhere on YouTube. Wait, rifle shells? Am I supposed to have a rifle now? There are bloodstained oh, nice. clothes Literally. here. Well, hey, I guess I guess you're gonna get a rifle at some point, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob. What? Try to go on the wiki and find four, four shows with the with the most episodes. Okay, what show has the most episodes? List of television programs by episode count. Sure. Um... Some German show, some Indian show... Guiding Light? I never heard of that. General Hospital... Days of Our Lives. These are all fucking soap operas, bro. What the fuck? Literally one animated show has over 22,000 episodes. God damn. And, okay. that's the German, and that's the German show that you mentioned. 
Is there a show that I actually recognize here? Oh, uh, Jeopardy. <laughs> Jeopardy has 9,000 show or uh, episodes. But it hasn't even reached to to like 10,000. Um, do I recognize any of these other shows? Nope. Obviously not. Oh, Judge Judy. I know Judge Judy. <laughs> um what else wheel of fortune that makes sense what kind of crazy person will you have to be to watch every episode of fucking um wheel of fortune i don't even know sesame, so tell you that, oh, sesame street has 4700 so episodes i can tell you that most of these episodes are much longer than one piece i will say mm, that is true mm -hmm. especially Literally, literally, especially Eddie's shows that has been around for years. What else Since do I recognize here? Family Feud. <laughs> Family Feud is like at the bottom of this list, and then it just kind of ends. Okay. It just ended. Well, that was fun to look at. Told you. Alright. The lock is broken. Well, now I'm paranoid that I missed the fucking rifle again. Where the hell is that at? We're in Toluca Prison. Oh, I guess, I guess that's the next part of this game. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where the rifle is. Um, it's in the warden's office. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for that. I don't know when the warden's office is, but apparently that's where the rifle is. I mean, that makes a lot of sense, actually. It makes sense that the rifle will be in there. Um. Dang it, bro. Stop breathing on me. Well, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, a prison is kind of a unique area for Silent Hill. Why? We never went to a prison in the last game. Well, it's unique, I will say that. Yeah. No map? I don't know if I'm supposed to have a map for this place yet, anyway. It's a, if it's an abandoned prison, I, I can see that. It is. Okay. The lock is broken. Okay, now let me, now let me escape. I need to escape from the bugs. The bugs. Get away from me, bugs. Or else mm. I'm gonna call the exterminator. Yeah, the terminator exterminator. <laughs> well, that rhymes. <laughs> That's not a very good rhyme. It really isn't. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Oh yeah, so it, I, I, for some fucking reason, when I'm playing Mario and Luigi Brothership, I just give everybody a fucking New Jersey accent. I don't know why. Why a New Jersey accent? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's like the new funny accent. There, there's it's a there, there's this character called Snoutlet, and he just has a fucking New Jersey accent, <laughs> which is like. It's real it's really funny because that's not what his voice sounds like at all. He sounds like, um, you know, like Don Chan from uh, Taiko. But instead, nah, he has a fucking New Jersey accent. What's this? I give you blood to atone for the three sins. Is written on top of the painting. Beneath the painting are three square depressions. Okay, well, I know what to do with one of them. Because I have, um, the gluttonous pig. So that's one of them. So there's probably two other tablets we gotta find in this dungeon. Oh, wow, that's, that's a real foreboding. There's three nooses here. Did I take damage from falling there? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so this is like the main room we need to remember. 
I literally can't escape. You have to hit the keypad on the wall. I am, but it's not even... Yeah, well guess what? The fucking code is randomized every time. It really is! Wait, hang on. I can't get the door open. Can I open any of these doors? Dang it! Now it's unlocked. Wait, this door was locked before? Oh my god, I can't even get anything right. Wait, hang on, this is a new room. Oh, this is some free these are some freaky sounds, I love it. Um we have this room. Oh, this place is so confusing without a map. I love it actually. Oh my god. Shite. Oh, it looks like I can't even escape. Yeah, I'd recommend saving before that room next time. Because that room's actually kind of BS. <laughs> because sometimes you just get stun locked by the frickin' bugs. Yeah, but... I, I honestly don't even know what to do. Um, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to look for the three numbers that look brighter than the others. And you're supposed to type those in a random combination and hope that it opens the door. I had to figure it out. It was random for me, too. It was like... It was like 841 or something for me. Mm, my health is not doing good. I suppose we can use an ampoule, eh? An ant- no, wait, or, or wait, no, it's ampoule. We gotta remember how the British say it. Can you stop, like, spazzing out? Okay, come over here. Get over here. Get over here. Dang it. The lock is broken. Do any of these doors actually work? No, that's the way I came in from. Hmm. Wait, now you're back up? What the fuck? God damn it, I missed. Is he bleeding yet? I think he's dead. Mm. So we have this room. Oh, we got a bathroom. My favorite. <laughs> is there gonna be a? Is there gonna be a ghost in the toilet? No. This isn't Hanako. You knock on the door, but there's no answer. Okay, so th this bathroom is kind of pointless then. <laughs> Unless there's something in here. What the fuck? That was, <laughs> that was pretty loud. Literally the com literally the combination is literally between literally between 1 to 900 999. That is really dumb. It really is. This game, this game, and uh, Ninja Gaiden have sparked my hatred for bugs. <laughs> and it did. Nothing in the toilet. At this point, I probably did miss the map. <laughs> Unless it's in the warden's office. Wait, hang on. I wasn't done there. I need to make sure. What, I need to make sure I, I can't go in this room. Bro, bro is breathing on me again. Oh, 
It's okay, there's a health drink literally right there. Okay, he he gone. Oh, yeah, we'll take a health drink. There we go. I do like that health drinks are um, like mapped to a button in the remake, though. You don't have to open the menu whenever you want to use them. Ooh, an ampoule. Man, there's just all kinds of health in this room. That's awesome. Uh, what's okay, this? Okay, this is really frustrating. I've never seen it before. It's probably a locally published magazine. Toluca Lake, the town's main tourist attraction. This clear, beautiful lake has another side as well. It may seem like a typical ghost story that you might find in any number of old towns across the country, but in this case, the legend's true. On a fog-bound November day in 1918, the little baroness, a ship filled with tourists, failed to return to port. A newspaper article from back then simply says it most likely sunk for some reason. Despite an extensive police search, not a single fragment of the ship, nor any of the 14 bodies of passengers or crew have ever been recovered to this day. In 1939, an even stranger incident occurred. There are pages torn out. Many corpses rest at the bottom of this lake. Their bony hands reach up towards the boats that pass overhead. Perhaps they reach for their comrades. That's some, some good lore right there. Whoops, I did not even read that again. Now, what's with me accidentally rereading things? <laughs> it looks like I can't do anything. You gotta fuck around with it. There's the hunting rifle. Finally, I'm actually strong in Silent Hill. I actually have a good weapon. Okay, very glad I came in here then. How did you even manage to get out? I just did the numbers in a random combination and I figured it out. Like, there's, like I said, there's three numbers that are brighter than the others and you have to press those in a random combo. And I just tried all the combinations and it eventually let me out. I mean, since you only have to hit three buttons and only three of the numbers work, in theory, that means there's what, like nine different combinations you can try? Something like that. I don't know what the wax doll is all about. Man, this is the second game that I'm hearing about the frickin' word wax. First Mario and Luigi, and now this game. <laughs> these games, oh, these there games, we go. These games have an obsession with wax. Okay, I finally made it out. Okay, yeah. it's an, that, that puzzle I'm not too big on, honestly. <laughs> we will never speak of that puzzle ever again. <laughs> Yeah. That really sucks. It is just ass. I mean, the puzzle itself, I don't mind, but it's just the fact that you're being harassed by bugs the entire time. So every time you fail the puzzle, you get, like, you get hit by a bug, and that's annoying. <laughs> well, at least I didn't get a game over from that. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, I did, but I also didn't mind because I wanted to save my health drinks, so I'm kind of glad I redid it. So, yeah. That lock's broken. Um, let's try this door. That's broken. Okay. All of these locks, all of these are locked, okay. Well, I'd say that was out of the way. It was worth going out of the way for that. Um, I got a lighter. What do I need the lighter for? Hmm. Well, I don't know, but honestly, so far I'm liking this dungeon. I mean, it's obviously better than the apartment. It's not that confusing. checking all the doors again. 
Okay, and then... Did I go in this door already? Yeah, I went in here before. Okay, never mind. It is getting a little confusing. <laughs> I don't know if I've been over here. <gasps> yes, a map! Map of the prison, finally! Okay, looks like I am going down there. Oh my god, look at this frickin' place. This is complicated as hell. Is this the whole, like is this the whole map? Looks like I am going below. Hmm. Well, I'm curious where I haven't been yet. Been yet. Well, if I keep heading this way, I can get to, um... Another door that I've never been in before. Broken. Okay, this one's unlocked. Wait, this is this looks like the sewers again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That guy takes like twelve hits to kill. Shit. You gotta, yeah, smack this guy with the, like the plank, like twelve times. All right. I mean, I'm doing good on health, though. <laughs> um. You know, honestly, I kind of forgot that we did not get a Nintendo Direct last month. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm pretty happy with this year that I don't need another Nintendo Direct. I mean, you could call me, you could call me grateful or whatever. Because well, I got all the games I, I wanted this year. <laughs> well, I mean, what's even the point of having a Nintendo Direct right now when Nintendo is right now the uh, deliberately making the next gen console. Man, honestly, <laughs> see, not not to sound negative or anything, but I don't really have any hopes for the next console. <laughs> Ooh, there's a tablet in here. You know, Jacob, I feel like Metroid Prime Four is going to have the same treatment as Breath of the Wild. Oh, that'd be cool, actually. I wouldn't mind that, honestly, because well, it, it looks like it belongs on the next gen. I'm only suggesting it. I'm just not sure if it will. Um, wait, hang on a second. It looks like a lighter. Can I... I'm not going to hope that, that it's going to be fully on 60 FPS because I literally... I've literally seen next-gen consoles like the PS5 doesn't even fully go for frames consistently of 60 FPS. I'd rather have a higher frame rate than a higher resolution. Why? I like my games running buttery smooth. <sighs> oh, I know. It's just more pleasing to look at in the long run. But sometimes it won't even look that good. If it looks slippery. Yeah, slippery. Yep. Slippin' Jimmy. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, it's a Better Call Saul joke. <laughs> oh, okay. It's freaking Slippin' Jimmy. That's what they call. That's what they call Saul sometimes. Okay, so. And yet I have to see the entire series. I mean, I stopped making better Call Saul jokes because I know it pissed you guys off. 
But it's a genuinely good show. Mm, so where have I not been yet? Well, I, can, I I didn't try going in the door at the end of the hall, I guess. The lock is broken. Oh. So I'm probably supposed to get there... I don't know, actually. I don't know how you get there. This is one complicated the dungeon. So, we have one of the save rooms. So, where can I go that I haven't been already? Uh, I mean, obviously, there's the... Yeah, okay. So this place isn't actually as complicated as I thought it was. You know what I find funny? What? People just stopped. People already stopped caring about Halloween and just want to go straight into the holidays. Yeah, you said that already. Oh yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. I mean, what are the holidays going to do for me? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I'm just going to get more presents. I don't need presents. I'm good. <laughs> I have almost everything I could ever want anyways. So Bes yourself. Besides, um, I guess a new graphics card and a new, uh, a new SSD. It's like the only two things I ever want at this point. Exactly, you're just lying to yourself that you want more presents. What do you mean I'm lying to myself? You said you don't want presents, but you said you want the things that you want, so... Well, I mean, I guess. If you if you want to consider those presents. Exactly. So, what do you, what do you want the point of just trying to hide it? Well, I don't really consider them presents. They're more like, uh, upgrades. To me and yeah. my eyes, I, I do consider them as presents. <laughs> Oh, it's like a classic Silent Hill 2 noise. Books are scattered all over the floor. On Sacrifice and the Art of Demon Summoning, Tome of the Seer, The Feast. I, I can't read, it's not letting me read all of that. The Feast of the Succubi, the Fallen Angels of Mercy and Favor. I couldn't worry about those too much. Hmm. I don't know, personally, I would worry about those, because, uh, they're pretty important. They do sound important. Well, all I need to do is wander around the prison and try and look for, um, the next, the, the third and final tablet. You know, I guess we'll, um, I guess we'll reload the handgun. Never mind, the handgun's already reloaded. I got 96 bullets. You have a ton of bullets. Where does the where do I use the clay doll? Wait, wait, hang on. What if I combine it? <laughs> oh, mouse trap. Dang it. Dang, I thought I thought it was smart by trying to use the lighter on the wax. That that would have been funny. Uh, I mean, since I'm already here, I suppose I could put in the, uh, extra thing. I could put in the other tablet right now. I'm sure this Whoa. game- I'm sure this game is more fun if you, like, already know what to do, and you're trying to, like, beat the puzzles really quick. But it's also fun just trying to figure out where to put everything. It's much more fun to figure out where you're going. Yeah. Well, I hear some metal clanks. Yeah, that literally, that's literally the sound that defines Silent Hill. Yeah. Wouldn't be really Silent Hill love... without metal clanking noises. I do love the unnerving aspects of it. It sounds very, um, industrial-sounding, you know? 
Ooh, what's this? 436 people at a recital. Is it weird for me to say that I would prefer if I just don't want to be surprised of what's going to happen next and just leave it like, oh, well, you know. Man, that sounds like, good to me. Yeah, I would just rather leave it to be, you know, under, literally unnerving and just don't know who's doing this. Like, I just prefer it to be hidden. Yeah, who, who's, who's, the, who's the guy making all those metal clanking noises? Exactly. I just prefer it to be unknown, like I said. Hmm. None of these prison cells want to open. There's a guy in one of these cells. Oh, wait, is that the last tablet? Oh, Tablet of the Oppressor. Bit. The iron bar is tightly closed. You can't force it open. Wait, I'm stuck in here now? Okay. Can I use the lighter? Oh, shit. How do I get out? Do I need to smash the gate open? Magazines, toilet. Oh, wait, yeah. We're good. I can't get that open. Um, I suppose I can use a drink, why not? I mean, I know I should probably only be using drinks when I'm, like, close to dying, but whatever. Oh, well, somebody's disturbing the peace. <laughs> disturbing the peace? <laughs> oh, disturbing the pieces. Disturbing the bees. <laughs> Disturbing the bees. <laughs> Disturbing the pieces. It is getting a bit more unnerving now that I have all three tablets, though. Here, I got an idea. Um, I'm a, I'm a like, like pause. Well, not pause, but I'm going to um. I'm going to uh, go take a piss. I'll be uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay then. I'll just continue. Yeah. I don't know if I should play any music. <laughs> I just need to find my way to get back. No, we'll play we'll play Gloomy Manor from Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Huh. Oh, I found a wax doll. Oh, nice rifles. All right. Well, we can put the uh, last tablet in place then. Yeah, I don't know what the wax doll does yet, but I have it. I have it as well. And I also have a lighter, which I don't know what that does either. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> what the fuck was that scream for? I don't know, to be honest. Three ropes. Wait, 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 I know what to do, I know what to do. Use the lighter. Fuck. Can I combine... Dang it! Well... What do I do with the, the lighter, then? Fuck. Shit, okay. Uh, maybe there's something I'm missing here. Let's see. Um... You can see another hunting rifle. Okay. Wait, there's a horseshoe? Where the fuck is the horseshoe at? How did I miss that? Uh, let's see. Head back to the double doors and re-enter the prison. Oh, I'm supposed to go back. Oops. <laughs> oh, that does Okay, thankfully that doesn't do damage. Actually, I'm gonna try it again, just for shits and giggles. There we go. Nah, nah that doesn't do anything. <laughs> That'd be really funny if there was fall damage in this game, though. Yeah, oh, just imagine. Oh, the horseshoe was on the door. Okay. So can I- so I'm supposed to combine this? With the horseshoe. Oh my god. The combining system's really confusing in this game, bro. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'm, huh. so, I'm supposed to go up here, obviously. We're going on outside. Combine... What do you mean I can't use that here? What the fuck? Um. Uh. What do I do here? Check your inventory. You might require quite the imagination here. Combine and use the wax doll horseshoe and lighter. Huh, it looks like you and I are in the same puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now for the tablet. I, what the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> Wait, where am I? Hmm. Once on the floor is a rusty white escape hatch. Oh, wait, where the fuck is that? I need to go there? Okay, looks like I have to get the gluttonous pig. I need to go back to the warden's office, apparently. How many tablets? How many tablet did you collect? Uh, how many do you have? I have three of them. Yeah, that's how many you need. I mean, don't you have three of them? Yeah, I, I used them already, and I got, um... I got a horseshoe from using all three of them. Well, it looks like I am getting it. Alright, let's go in here. Okay, I heard the scream. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that funny? Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess it was kind of funny. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to go... Uh, in this door here. 
Okay, yeah, yeah. This is the correct way. I know my- I think I know my way around this prison now. And then... We need to... Go through here. And then, yes, we need to go here. Okay, it looks like you got the horseshoe. I think I did it. Oh, look at that. Oh, okay. This would be a good place to save, I think. Yes, well, why would I not want to jump in the hole? <laughs> what, is, what, is James just gonna die? This is gonna be like one of those uh, point-and-click games from the 90s, where literally everything can kill you? <laughs> okay, so I think now... I, know what you're now I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, so we're in the basement now, and there's not a lot in here, but there are a few doors. Alright, I unlock it with the horseshoe. Wow, all these locks, all these doors are broken. How? how <laughs> who would have fucking guessed? Um, did that just move, or was that only my imagination? I mean, this is literally a game about like delusions and shit. So maybe <laughs> a horrible smell is coming from there. Rotten flesh. Yeah, don't eat the rotten flesh, or else you'll get the hunger status. Wait, this corpse into this hole? How far does this go? Yeah, let's jump down. What's the worst thing that can happen? A lot of things. A lot. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Take fall damage? Sounds like a siren or something. It's one. It's an amber alert. Wait, another hole? <laughs> another hole. Do I really have to drop through? Yeah, James, you're gonna be taking a lot of fall damage. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Bro probably has no ankles by this point. Yeah, at this point he doesn't. His ankles are just gone. <laughs> He's all jello now. He's on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, what else can we do in here? There's a door. That's locked. Oh, hey, a first aid kit. Always a pleasure to see those. Oh wow, what a great map. Honestly, this is I, I've never seen a better map in my life. Okay, well what else we got? We got rifle shells, yeah. Handgun bullets. And shotgun shells. Wow, we're just having all the bullets today. Well you know what? Let's get um let's get the shotgun ready then. We might want it. Right. We got the rifles. Good, good. Now you're I all prepared. And I got more gunshot shells. Uh, is there anything funny I can do in here? Well, I, I, have I, can, I can dance. <laughs> there you go. Yep, do the do the James do the James Sutherland scuffle. Yeah. Starts playing that fucking uh Kevin McLeod music that everybody likes. Alright, we're at the bottom. Hmm. Well, there's a save right here. This just screams boss incoming to me. Alright. I think I know what I must do. 
Okay, have to combine the wax doll. The have time to has come. I have to combine the lighter, and you have to combine the horseshoe. Hello? Oh. Just, just there we go. There we go. Yeah, that, you did it. That is what I have to use them for. To open the basement. Yeah, it's not that bad, honestly. Ow, I, I can tell that you're. I can tell that you're ahead of me. Um, only a little bit. Like I just, I went down to the basement like a few minutes ago. Well, I'm in the basement right now. I can't get through here because of the wire. Well, who the fuck put a wire here? The power company. That's what they. That's what they did. Dang it, power company. I guess we didn't need the shotgun after all, because it's just more gingerbread men. Although they're look not looking they're not really looking like gingerbread men that much now. Oh my god, the map is like inaccurate now. What the fuck? That's hilarious. How far will this rabbit hole go? I don't know. I don't think there's gonna be any boonies in this hole, Jose. Yeah, sadly not. Come on, James, use the use the dark light. I really am below here. Oh, hello, another gingerbread man. Dang it, he breathed on me. Use Colgate, motherfucker. Oh, we got another gingerbread man. Okay, this is a good place to use the, the gun, I think. Because there's two of them. Oh, looks like I have to repeatedly fall down. Yeah, it's Alice in Wonderland simulator. Definitely. <laughs> uh, uh. Bro, stop. He's wondering where is he? Alright. Alright, come out. Come out, gingerbread man. Get over here. Okay. More shotgun. There we go. And I found a first aid. Cool. There's a lot of good stuff in that elevator. And a rifle. Oh, I thought it was gonna fall down. They just throw literally everything in there. Okay, why is it going? Why is the elevator going down? Wait, what is an elevator supposed to do? <laughs> but this is a caged elevator. Okay, something there. doesn't something doesn't seem right. This is a pretty cool dungeon, though, I gotta say. <laughs> might as well be the best so far. I won't lie, I, this might be better than the, this might be better than the hospital in terms of uh, atmosphere and design. Maybe it's just because I'm sick of the hospital or something. Well, everybody hates hospitals, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. There's probably a few people who lost their relatives in there. It's probably not very good. But I only go there when it's necessary. Then again, I guess a prison isn't much better, but I think a prison is a more unique idea, because I... We already seen a hospital dungeon in the last game, so I'm kind of sick of them. Even yeah. though it is the second game after all. Hmm. Creepy ass box. <laughs> it's kind of funny that sequels always go for a different direction, just like what happened with the NES era. Hmm. What's the deal with this box? Yeah, there's just there's just nothing there. Okay. All right, so we got um a panel, an empty ass room. What the hell is the deal with this room? 
Hmm. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing here? Hmm. I don't. I, I can't examine anything in here. What is the deal with this weird box thing? Can I? I can't examine it. It just takes me to a weird screen. Oh. Oh, you know what? This probably... Oh! This, uh, warps the room. Wait, how do I get the... How do I get that room to come back? This is like a fucking Rubik's Cube, bro. Nobody can figure out the Rubik's Cube. Okay, so... Now the room's upside down. Huh. That's kind of confusing. I might go back through here first. I wanna- I, I think I missed something in the previous room. I mean, I could be wrong, but... There was like another hallway that I could go down, I think. Yeah, this one. This- ladder. Hmm. Hmm. What's the deal with this place? Oh boy, this goes on for a while. Wait. Am I just- oh wait, I'm back. Wait, hang on. Where the fuck am I? This is confusing. Ooh, that's freaky. There's like weird enemies like on the bottom. I'm actually kind of lost in here, not gonna lie. <laughs> I swear there was like a split pathway that I could go in here. Yeah, this door right here. This is what I was looking for. Oh, look at this room. This room looks awesome. The Great Knife. Oh, this is great. What could this even be used for? I don't even want to think about it. Oh, this room is awesome, dude. Okay, I don't know what this key item is used for, but I'm going to make a save, because I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they seem scary, but then all that happens is you just go, Ugh! And you take a bit of damage. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Fuck. Um... Yeah, use one of those. Alright. Not sure what that knife is used for, though. That's in my inventory, right? The Great Knife. Massive weapon wielded by Pyramid Head. Oh. Wait, I can I can use I can, I can use Pyramid Head's weapon? That's fucking awesome. It is awesome. Oh. That's cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
the next enemy that comes into contact with me is gonna get a full ass whooping. Oh, your side ginger red man, you wanna fight me? <laughs> yeah. Now I am pyramid head. That's fucking great. I'm so glad I found that. Oh, what's that? You want you want to come at me, gingerbread man? You don't want to mess with me. I'm James Pyramid Sutherland. Yeah, don't fuck with this senator. Alright. Well, uh, let's just say enemies aren't gonna be a threat to me anymore. But I'm also kind of confused what I'm supposed to do with this. Green doesn't do anything. Does yellow? Oh, yellow makes a door. Can I? Can I go in any of these? No. Okay. Well, if yellow doesn't work, then what other colors? Purple. No. Okay, what about red? Red also makes a path. Hmm. No, there, there, there's jack shit here. It's, pro it's probably red, actually. Nope, that doesn't create anything either. Hmm. Well, I've tried all the colors now. What's the combination for this, then? What combination are you trying to do? You know, the, the weird block face guy thing. Oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been figuring out. I mean, I already know blue makes a path. Yellow also makes a path. But none of these seem to do anything. Um... Well, hang on. What if I try, um... See, we can, we can either look this up or we could brute force it. I'm not sure which one's more fun. Um, I don't know. Green? I'm expecting one of these to make like a, um, like a doorway or a hole I can fall in. Purple. Nothing. Yellow? I think I already tried yellow. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, what if we flip it upside down? <gasps> yes! Okay, uh, flip the yellow head upside down. <laughs> that apparently makes a path. Oh, hey, and it's our dead wife. <laughs> Looks like I found the You're door. Alive. Yep. Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. 
It looks like you and I are on the same track. Stabbed nice. Us. What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, and then. What are you talking about? Just before. Don't you remember? <laughs> James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Yeah, something did happen. Bro's traumatized. Me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. Bro's having delusions again. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? Hey, yo. <laughs> Don't know. Come maybe, maybe, me. maybe say that for I off camera. Anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know how to get through the bars, though. <laughs> and then Pyramid Head shows up and he's just like, What's up, bitch? <laughs> Is this thing not working? What if we try the blue one upside down? Hmm. Okay, what else can we do? Um, okay, it says now we're in the labyrinth. <laughs> this is how your place feels like a labyrinth. It sure is. Ugh. Hmm. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, the box of faces. Um, let's see. Oh, good thing I'm not playing this game on hard or normal. Okay, so it says you need to do a green upside down face after. Okay, let's try green upside down. Oh, I see. The wires. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm just back here again. What the fuck? No, I'm just going down. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So, do, so both yellow and green work, then? They both do the same thing? Huh, yeah, I guess they do. Okay, so how do I get the wire cutters then? <laughs> I already got the wire cutters. Where? Where the fuck where the fuck are they? Oh maybe I maybe they maybe they, maybe I get them when I leave or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who did that? Did the did, 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 uh, the pyramid head do that? Probably. I guess I am ahead of you. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> So now, so now, so according to the guide, we're in the labyrinth now, which um, is actually kind of close to the end of the game. Um, like it says, there's three more segments after this, so we could probably finish this game in two more streams, honestly. Yeah, we might as well. I'd be down with that. 
Yeah, that or we could do one really long stream that I split up into two parts. Okay, I th well, I know where to use the wire cutters, because I saw it earlier. Uh, no, not there, though. <laughs> yeah, over here. Over there. Uh, not rifle shells. Well, I mean, hey, if we're getting the rifles, then yeah, we are at the end. We are near the end of the game. Okay. Well, down we go. Bro, I cannot fucking see. <laughs> you can't just come up on me and expect me to know you're there. Fucking gingerbread man. If I would know you're if I'd know you're approaching me, I probably would have equipped Pyramid Head's weapon. <laughs> I might, I might play some more Brothership when I'm done with this, though, after I make lunch. <laughs> yeah, that game's really fun. I mean, this game is fun, too, though, so... Yeah. Okay, so we can either go this way... There's there's two different ladders to pick from. I wonder which one we should use. After this, I'm going to continue my project. Is it the Black Project? <laughs> no. Uh, GTA San Andreas joke. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use the wire cutter. There we go, now I can progress. I guess what I could ask is why are you doing that? Why am I doing that? <laughs> why, because I need to progress. No, you didn't, you didn't get my pun? <laughs> no. Well, you're using the wire cutter, so I said, why are you doing that? <laughs> I know, that's why I responded to you like that. Now, you could have said, like, that joke was shit. <laughs> Hang on, let me, get, uh, let me get the knife out. Or I should say, well, that joke didn't connect with me. <laughs> Fuck you, cinnamon man. See, that, that is much... That actually, that is actually much better. <laughs> what was because better? Literally, because literally, wires do connect. <laughs> yeah, I guess they, yes, they do. Yeah, that's why I said. Well, that joke didn't connect to me. Okay, there we go. You you follow, <laughs> we, you, you follow up a shitty joke with your own shitty joke. <laughs> I know. So there you go. All right, you know what? Let's get Pyramid Head's weapon again. <laughs> just you're, gonna... definitely gonna have... you're definitely gonna have fun with that weapon. It is fun. Especially because the only enemies in here are freaking gingerbread men, so I can spam it like crazy. Uh, I get to channel my inner Pyramid Head. That weapon literally looks like it would be New Game Plus material. Yeah, except it's not a new game plus weapon. That's the best part. Wait, you're behind. Wait, he's behind me. Fuck. <laughs> that is so satisfying, though. Like I take, I know I eat shit in the process, but man, is it satisfying. Just wish the FOB in here was a little better, you know. I don't care that I'm, you know, going slow as balls. Okay, I, I need to I need to de-equip it though. I love the pyramid head weapon, but you go way too slow with it. It's literally one of the heaviest weapons in the game. Yep. So of course it so of course you literally don't have the might to just carry it. Yeah, I mean Pyramid Head seems to have a hard time carrying it. But I guess that's what you can expect from a big heap of metal. 
Well, I mean, this game is literally trying to be as realistic as possible. Yeah, what's more real than a giant big fucking knife? <laughs> they li literally knives like these can exist. Whoops. Hit. Like, it shouldn't even be called a knife. It literally kind of looks like a sword. <laughs> it, it is. I mean, I'm not, I mean, technically, knives are like tiny swords, you know? Except you can throw with them. Throwing knives. You know, like kunai. Yeah. Or shurikens. Yeah. Shurikens are literally called throwing stars. I wish there was a better way to de-clip weapons in this game. Instead of just going to the, um, menu over and over. There's a- there's a guy approaching me? I mean, if I- I could just wait I could just wait for him to come around the corner. Where are you? Hello, gingerbread man. Where are you? Come out. Is he gonna come out or I have to approach him? Oh no, there he is. Got he. There's another one somewhere. Yeah, screw, the, screw using ammo. Just use fucking the big ass knife. That's more fun. Okay, there's an enemy over here. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Yo, I, I hope I hope they I hope Pyramid Head's sword is in the remake, like as a weapon. That'd be fucking awesome. How awesome would it be? Dang it, I missed. I mean that's the only downside, is it's really hard, it's really easy to miss with this sword. So if you miss, you usually just take a hit, but it's not the worst thing, honestly. It's like having one damage. I mean, yeah, at this point in the game, the gingerbread men don't even really do that much damage. They don't. They really don't. Like, I don't know why they decided to bring the gingerbread men back, because they're piss easy to kill. Like, the nurses are way more annoying to deal with, and they take more hits. Maybe that's for hard mode or something, then. Oh, I found a newspaper on the ground. Huh. I didn't find that. I'm look. I'm looking around. Huh. I wonder if it looks important. Oh, looks like I have to... I don't know if I would call this a riddle, but... Okay. Oh. Hang on. I got another gingerbread man to kill. Well, I said I said I'm, I, I want to kill you, bro. Okay, he 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 keeps fucking breathing on me. Just use the gun at this point. Yeah. I mean, I just run past him at this point. It's like there's a few pieces missing. The one piece. I'm kind of- these sewers are kind of confusing. I'm kind of lost in here. Wait, 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 don't go in there. Yeah, I wasn't done in there. I wanted to, uh... I wanted to read the newspaper. It's stained with something that looks like blood and is partially ineligible. The Boff, a man later identified as Thomas Oro, Lumberjack Ag 39, was discovered in the Om Lying Fa. The probable cause of D as multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of torso by a sharp edged weapon. The estimated E of death was somewhere between 11 p and 12.30 midnight. 
due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are concerning this is a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched, Mr. Oroad, a history of drunkenness and violence, the police act that Tutiv was not robbery of crime Oyon. That was a good, that was a good read. I get ready for the stair. The Labyrinth Hallway. That's a cool name. Labyrinth Hallway. Okay, it looks like something scary is about to happen. Ooh, spooky. Actually, it's a actually it's more tense. Someone's dad? Oh. It's like... Not Pyramid Head? What is that thing? You could say it looks like a giant table monster. Ooh. And the music's getting intense. Out. Let go, bro. Hang on. Let me reload. How many rifle shells do I have? I probably should save the rifle shells. Like, you're, you're kind of meant to use the rifle on the, um, the final boss, right? This guy is just some random guy. Kind of uh, getting stuck though. I'm kind of, kind of struggling with the tank controls right now though. Actually, I got an idea. What if I use the handgun? Because the handgun has like really good uh, knockback on it. Let's try it. I'm dying. It's really hard to move in this room. Ooh. Gotti. <laughs> Not sure what that guy's deal was. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, smash the TV on his ass. Angela, relax. Don't order me around. Looks like we could end off here. Not trying to order you. Not a bad place, Not actually. Bad place. Actually. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. Well, I might as well oh, stop the recording. Thing. You're sure. only after sure. one thing. Yeah, and I'll save say That's here. Not true at all. all right. All right. You don't have to lie. Why do I hear Why myself? I hear myself? Well, you could just force me. Baby, I'm like, you know what he's dead. I don't care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. <laughs> James is very fucking confused right here. <laughs> As sure am seems. I. It sure seems like it. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes. She was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. 
You probably found someone else. <sighs> but honestly, I don't know what to believe at this point. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I never. Well, you're just as lost as him. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened then? Did his wife die? Did he ditch his wife? I don't fucking know at this point. We'll find a, we'll find out these answers later on. Okay, well let's just let's reload my guns real quick. We got shotgun shells to spare. I think since I'm at the end of the game, I could probably afford to use the shotgun a little more. I've been a little too conservative with my ammo. <laughs> I haven't even used ammos. I mean, this is a non-lethal run, I guess. <laughs> you could say that. I only just use the wooden plank. And now I'm using a... Uh, pyramid Head Sword. <laughs> that's what I'm using now. That's my weapon. Alright, well, um... Yeah, we're in the Labyrinth Hallway. I think this is a pretty good spot to end off. Let me see where we're at in the guide. Um, uh, it's called the Abstract Daddy. That's the name of the boss that we just fought. Okay, interesting. Boss 3. That's the third boss in the game. The first boss was the first phase of Pyramid Head. Oh, that's a boss. That was a boss? Oh, I didn't really consider that a boss. That was more like an escape sequence, if you ask me. Okay, so after the after the labyrinth, then we have uh, three more sections. So yeah, we probably can beat this in two more parts, I want to say. Oh, we can. Because we're actually almost at the end of this section. So yeah, I think that's a great place to end off, so... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to on YouTube and Twitch. And um I'd be down to do with I'd be I'd be down to do more um Silent Hill 2 next week. If yep. you want, we can try and beat the game um like next Good. week. Or Good. I mean I don't mind. Like again, I don't mind if we don't beat it by the end of October. Uh, it's most likely that we will. We'll see. Um I know I'm free, uh, I should be free Wednesday, if you want to play that day. Yes. So, okay, that works. Alright, well, uh, you have a good day, man. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to do trash. I'd be down to join for that. Oh, we'd be happy to invite you. But otherwise, uh, I'm just going to be playing Mario and Luigi Brothership, probably. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, see you then, man. Alright, see ya. When to go jack off to Cerno. All right, well, I'm going to go make me some lunch, so I'll see you guys later. But uh, more Silent Hill 2 coming every week, probably. So see you guys then.